Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the past few days, I have shared many two minutes video to share the key points of the 1850s Wing Chun. And also to let all of us have a feeling of what is the uh, 1850s uh, Wing Chun looks like in a uh, demonstrations. So uh, Daniel and his student is very nice to help me to make the uh, demonstrations, explanations, uh, YouTube, which I share with everybody. Now, after sharing all this video, I have received tons of message and uh, there are many things, many questions raise up or surface. And there are things which is I concern surface also. So today I like to share with you to make things even clear so that those who really care for Wing Chun who really want to study Wing Chun, be able to really learn Wing Chun in a solid way. So let's start. So uh, the first thing I received uh, from our friends, which I'm going to share with you today, or answer the questions is this. Even if the many wars and epidemics of opium addict hit China relentlessly in those years, how is it possible that in just 100 years, 1850 to 1950, everything has the knowledge of the 1850 Xiu Lin Tao being lost in this way? Well, this is a good question, isn't it? I'm going to share with you what happened. Now, this is the next one. I like the 1850s version of Wing Chun. It reminds me more of Bagua spy rolling energy. Well, this is when I start to get concern. That's why you see my reply got nothing to do with Pagua. Don't speculate on things you don't know. This is trouble. Okay. When people live in the mind, not live in reality. When people make comment on things which one do not know, it's like commenting, oh, Apple remind me lemon, but I never taste apple before, okay? And uh, this is another thing on the, 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 the Daniels uh, or the 1850s uh, uh, demonstrations on the, the, the body shot and so forth. So I answered to one of our friends, I asked Daniel to do it after lots and lots of requests because people want to see how the, uh, the, uh, the, the 1850s Wing Chun uh, is like, okay? So I asked Daniel to, to share on that, to make a video, okay, and he's nice with his student to, to help me to do that. And uh, so that is why I do it. And actually I do not like to do it, okay? So this is why I say this demonstration is useless and misleading for those who have not developed, who have not developed the body strength. So if you don't develop the body strength, you look at the uh, like uh, Daniel's uh, demonstrations. 
mostly it will be useless and misleading. Okay, I'm going to share with you why. And that's my major concern. That's why I never want to do it. Because I don't want people to start again another wave of mine short strike Wing Chun, mine 1850 Wing Chun. Okay, mimicking posture of what Daniel show or share, and then like making movies, okay? So this is what I said. People just want entertainment or thinking they can mimic some kick move, but never in real life develop the real skill, no matter how many times I share the real teaching. My interest is not about showing you guys uh, all this uh, flamboyant kick, so-called move, like make me a grandmaster. My goal is so that you all know what it is because that's the inheritance you got from your ancestor, from your Wing Chun ancestor. But people today, due to the educations and due to the mindsets, really screw up mindsets, is getting into this thing. Okay. So I have concern, you know, that is no secret to share. And I'm open for everything. The issue is, I don't want this, what we share, become another, my 1850s Wing Chun, yours 1850s Wing Chun. And then you screw the entire thing up. And that also, it, it actually screw the, uh, the, 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 the kindness of, uh, say, Daniel, explaining, uh, sharing it. Say for in the Daniel's uh, 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 demonstrations video, how many people really listen to what Daniel is saying that you need to learn how to squat first, like the S21. How many really pay attention to that? We can, we can get, get a word. How many people actually really pay attention to that? Compare with, oh, this is the move. So watching what the, the, the Daniel's uh, video, like a, like a movie while missing the point of what Daniel is sharing there. Okay, so that's what my concern is. I don't want another, my Wing Chun, your Wing Chun, those kinds of nonsense with the real ancient Wing Chun, okay? Because my concern again, my hope again is you all learn real Wing Chun. So you all can stand tall. It's like those who train in, uh, in, 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 in karate. Stand tall to say, this is what type of karate or what type of jujitsu I'm training. Okay. So that, that's important. Now, to answer these questions, Okay, so how is it possible that in just 100 years, 1850 to 1950, everything has knowledge of this is wiped out and lost in the way, in this way? Let me share with you one thing. You don't even have to talk about, uh, say, uh, 100 years. Just look at the 20 years from... Uh, start from uh, two, year 2000, what you do in Wing Chun. So you make movie in the past 20 years, movie to brainwash. And this one is say, shouldn't we use Chinese martial arts to change foreigners' bias against us? Well, sound good, the idea, right? But guess what he said? I want to fight 10 people, okay? 
So is this your Chinese martial arts? I want to fight 10 people. Okay. You show a fight like this with Mike Tyson. Anybody watching the, uh, the, the Daniels demonstration know that this is a kiss of death because you open up a body shot and right instant KO, okay? And you show this so good. You have this Wing Chun hand techniques. Put in the video, in movie, okay? What well, people who make this do not even learn and know what is in the real life. 1975, this Wing Chuner get KO exactly with a body shot to the rib area. Okay? People don't learn and people making this kinds of video. So everybody, you know, watch it get high. You know, you have your, your, your movie music coming up. You see these days, everybody play their set with those music getting high. And then in the brain is, I want to fight 10 people. Okay, I want to use, uh, soon we use Chinese martial arts to change foreigners' bias against Chinese. Okay, this is what, if you, if you do it, translate directly from Chinese. Okay. And you show this kind of thing in movie. For 20 years, you brainwash everybody. Is this Wing Chun? So when you brainwash everybody, you cover up everything. Okay, everybody is saying that they are doing research, but what the research, look at today, everybody doing Chun this way. Am I right? And then in China, this is a new uh, Canton Chinese Wuzhu associations made up their new Wing Chun set. So again, this is your Wing Chun, my Wing Chun. So, to answer this, we don't even have to look at 100 years. We don't even look at the dark past. Yes, there's a dark past of Wing Chun after the loss of the Red Boat Uprising until 1950, 1960s. There's a dark past, a past where nobody brought it up. If you, if you, if you uh, look into Wing Chun history, people jump from, from, from 1960 right away into like Leong Jan, oh yeah, Red Boat, uh, Wong Wah Po, and then they start to have their own, uh, this uh, uh, Shaolin burning and all that stuff. So what happened with this past 100 years? There is a dark past there. Okay. So you don't even have to be 100 years. You just use 20 years to brainwash everybody with this kind of stuff. So everybody today, uh, when people talk about Wing Chun, is, is this, isn't it? The power of media, right? So it doesn't have to take 100 years to dig out everything, to know everything here. Just 20 years in the past, in this recent 20 years, you know that it's gone. Okay? Now, so I, I'm saying that you might ask me, you might question me. So Hendrik, do you have evidence on uh, why is this uh, loss and so forth? Well, today I'd like to share with you an evidence exactly on 100 years, how an art is properly propagate down and expand in this exactly this 100 years. I want to show you an evidence so you all know. Okay. So let's get start on it. The evidence is right in front of everybody's face. 
and that is in the Hong Sing Chui Lei Fa uh, ancestors uh, uh, place in the Fatsan. If you have visited Fatsan, okay. So you might ask me, why Chui Lei Fa? Chui Lei Fa is a very very important key. Data point if you want to research Wing Chun. Okay. Very, very important. So I'm going to share with you today. First, I want to share with you why is Shari Fat be able to, to handle 100 years of, uh, of successful teaching? So here it say that Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat starting at uh, it is uh, uh, closed at 1949, 1949, okay? So it starts, and uh, the entire length of the school, the Hong Seng Chui Lei Fa school is 98 years. So this is the question, is saying that 1850 to uh, 1950, right? So now you can see the evidence on Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat. Why is it it be able to last this long and being success? And uh, in the past 98 years or 100 years since uh, 1850s to the 1949. Okay, so. Hong Sing Chai Lei is uh, well known because it is contribute to the uh, to Canton to China. You know the Taiping uprising. Hong Sing Chai Lei is training the the uprising army. You know that uh, Hong Sing Chai Lei helping to fight the Japanese invasions. Okay, very respectable, very strong. Real deal martial arts, okay? You can check it in the history of China. Now, so uh, it have last 100 years. Really solid, really good. So guess what? Number one, they only accept students who have proper occupations. They never accept official, okay? Be it Manchurian official or any type of official, government official. No rich guy, no bully, you know, the rich guy who bully other, and also no those tuck, which is bully people. Hong Seng Kun, Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat Kun have very strict on their student in the past 100 years. Okay? Look at your Wing Chun. What do you have for that past 100 years after the uh, Red Boat Uprising fall? You know Wing Chuners smoke opium. You know Wing Chuners is... Uh, some even boasting on uh, they are uh, working with the Qing government, and uh, the the you you know that uh, all kinds of stuff in Wing Chun in the past dark history one hundred years of Wing Chun. So number one thing, who are your students? If you want to propagate proper or teaching proper or develop proper martial arts or proper technology, you need to have proper students. When you have all kinds of uh, really troublesome people there, what can you expect? So that's why Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat can do it because it is really strict on their students. They walk their talk. You can read history of China. Okay, now this is very important. 
this rule of Hong Seng Chai Le Fat School is important, extremely important. This is the true authentic Chinese martial arts in front of everybody's eyes. But most never see it. this one. This rule actually can share with us what is Wing Chun like in the 1850. Okay. So you say, well, Hendrik, are you sure? Yes, I'm this sure, very sure, 100% sure, 1000% sure. We know that at the uprising, the headquarter is in Fatsan. The anti Qing headquarter is in Fatsan. So Hong Seng Chai Le Fat ancestor and the Wing Chun ancestor, they are brothers, anti Qing. Okay. And as in other video, I share on the salutation. Hong Seng Chai Le Fat have his salutations. Uh, Wing Chun have his salutation, which is the identity. Now, this, the Hong Seng Chai Le Fat school rules, is another secret, top secret in front of everybody's eyes on real Chinese martial arts. Okay? Now, it is like solving a differential equations. Okay, if you took mathematics, and these days we all study, we all have educated differential equa uh, equations. If you solve differential equation, we always have a general solutions and the uniqueness, the, the, the uniqueness solution, right? A special solution for the particular equation, for particular differential equations. This school rule presented the authentic general solutions for Chinese Kung Fu uh, equations. And of course, as we know that in the 1850, Chai Le Fat and Wing Chun, they are brother, they fight the, the, uh, the, 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 the Qing. And you know that from the general solution, the standard and the training of it. Okay? So let's go through these 10 rules, okay? Number one is one need to have a proper teacher and proper instruction. Proper teacher, proper instructions for the training. The second is working hard, okay? You need to train really diligently, train. The third thing is you must not start the first strike. Or in other words, you must not play violence with other people. You are not the first one who do the first attack. Okay? The fourth is abstain from sexual activity. Okay? So this get into, you need to, uh, you need to conserve your body energy. The fifth is watch out for your diet. The sixth is you need to have a solid basic develop. So in today's language, it's like your basic functional training your basic shadow boxing. That is the six. You need to have that. Or as the other day I shared that, you need to have body strength. Okay? So this is the six. You need to have your body strength develop your, 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 your uh, uh, functional training, which is 
specific for your for your martial arts okay but uh, the functional training this is like in your trilay fight functional training you need to have that that really really solid okay the seven is your endurance cardiovascular endurance muscle endurance the seven the eight is key eye, key eye. Like when you strike, you key eye. And of course, that got to do with your breathing and the strength of your strike. The nine is the spirit of fight until last. Okay? The spirit of once you get into the fight, you don't give up, fight until the last whatever you have. The 10 is continuous learning, continuous training. So this 10, this is the true Chinese martial art we know today. What happened in the training of 1850? Okay, you look at today, you look at this today with a sport science, you know this is real deal. Okay, because you look at, you look at all this uh, 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 Olympic player and all this uh, MMA trainer, Dean is, is, is like this, or Western boxing or all this training, you need to have a proper teacher and you have to need to follow the instructions and you need to have a lot of training. And the third one is you do not throw the first strike, meaning that you are not supposed to be violent, promoting violence. Okay. So this is the Hong Sing Chai Lei Fat teaching 1850. You think about it. If you are a Wing Chuners in 1850, this is the general solution. I have my example on the uh, general solutions on the differential equations. Do you have the standard to develop your body? If you don't have it, can you be with them? Anti Ching? in the red boat. So this is the truth of Kung Fu. It's in front of everybody's eyes. But what do people look uh, think today? Oh, Qi, I have this Qi, internal mind power. Or I have this uh, 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 Fa Jing. Well, this is the real deal of uh, 1850. Okay. Now, this thing, this rule, what described here on training, if you look closely, guess what? It is aligned with General Chi Chi Guang, 1560s training. Okay, this is General Chi Chi Guang, 18, uh, 1560s. So daily combat training and so forth, you know, they use heavy armor for physical body strength training, and then uh, they have to run, leg strength training, there's General Chi Chi Kuang, body training and all those as uh, in uh, over here. On your functional training, your body strength training, your endurance training, your breathing trainings. So uh, this is uh, also in Chi Chi Kuang. This is the Chi Chi Kuang. And uh, 
this is for the proper training in Sand City. Okay. So this is the, uh, the, the, the Shaolin martial art classic proper intensity of Shaolin martial art training. Okay. So uh, like here in the fighting training, one must use full power and full speed. Start with hard rigid training. One refines the heart towards soft flexible training. This is the proper way of developing good fighting skill. So you see the Choi Lei Fat, Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat Gun uh, teaching is actually on the same line of Jenna Chi Chi Kuang and Shaolin Sword Strike. So you know that it's real from 1560. 1784 uh, to 1850, uh, this Hong Sing Chua Lei uh, uh, writing. So we know, okay, we know that is the general solutions of the Chinese martial arts. And that's why over here in specifically on the body strength handling, this is a uniqueness of short strike. No, Chale Fat is not short strike, it's a, it's a different type of art. So this is the, the Shaolin short strike, okay? And uh, so this is the short strike uniqueness training, the momentum, the body strength, the shoulder handling, and we can find that in the 1850s uh, Wing Chun classic. So we know, we, we are really sure, we are really sure on the, uh, the, general solution, uh, the general solutions of Chinese Kung Fu. We know what Chinese Kung Fu is about from this. That is the real Kung Fu. If you want to train a real Kung Fu, that is how it is. So you see from Chi Chi Guang to Shaolin Sock Strike to Choi Lei Fat to Wing Chun, they all the same. That's why over here in the Wing Chun teaching, on one side, it talk about the hand issue from heart as I explained yesterday you know, how your hand position, you have, you have the position, your fighting strategy. And another thing is your stretching and ret retracting. That's your body strength. Okay. Now. So that's one past 100 years. Is, is, is it still there? Sure, is it still there? But uh, if you brainwash people with this, What do you get? That's why for past 100 years, is you don't even want to talk about 100 years. You talk about 20 years, the entire thing is gone. How many, how many people today have the body strength training? How, how many people in Wing Chun today have, uh, have this general solution training? How many have this proper... this training instead thinking that this is Wing Chun. Okay. So the answer this, if you don't have a proper, uh, a strict, uh, strict rule for, for training, strict rules for uh, taking what type of student, admit what type of student, and you keep brainwashing other people, and of course, within 20 years, the entire thing collapsed. That's what I just shared with you by evidence, right? So 
that is about his story. And there's also sharing, uh, showing that if one have no idea on this, uh, this is very basic, very general thing. And then uh, keeping making uh, this, uh, this, this, this speculation, like this type of stuff, like uh, the, the, the Wing Chun 1850s is like the uh, remind about Bagua, or just uh, looking at the uh, mimicking uh, what Daniel's uh, video is. And then later on, uh, start to have another my Wing Chun, your Wing Chun, yet do not even have this basic. What are you going to expect? Okay. So let me share with you something more. This is what one need to know. This is a Chinese teaching. Okay. One need to know this. The first thing is, this is called hao gao wu yan, meaning hao gao wu yan, meaning unrealistic girl pursuing goals that are too far or too high, not doing things down to earth, follows, following step by step, not willing to learn basic or be disciplined or even overestimate oneself. The Chinese, the ancient Chinese, will warn their student on not to, to do this type of stuff. When the student do this, it's like, uh, I don't want to learn the basic. I want to uh, learn the top secret. I don't want to uh, develop my body strength. What body strength? I want to learn how to sparring. That's exactly this unrealistic pursuing goal that are too high. So the Chinese call this no hard to learn. You are not really learning, want to learn something. Okay. The second thing is Xuan Tan in Mandarin. Xuan Tan is talking magic. And today in the old, uh, in the past generations, uh, Sifu is say that this is Gong Gong Fu in Cantonese. Gong Gong Fu is meaning that you have this punch coming, I'm going to block you this way, and then you have the, another punch coming, I'm going to block you that way, and then I'm going to punch you this way, I'm going to puji you this way, I'm going to palm you this way, I'm going to bong you this way. This is called Gong Gong Fu talk. I have no idea what is the real reality of momentum and body strength. So this is called Xuan Tan. Today you can see in the Chinese martial arts, you talk about Qi Jing internal secret set, most authentic uh, legend say this, you know, all kind of daydream talk, and then philosophy talk, and then you talk empty thing without uh, anything to back up and make believe talk in experience talk and say, wow, well, if you come this way, I'm going to do this way, I can using my, my mind power, all those kind of things, those baseless talk. This is called Xuan Tan. Hao Gao Wu Yan and Xuan Tan is the thing which the ancient teacher, like my teacher generations, warn us. You violate that a few times, they kick you out from school. If you really want to learn Kung Fu. And if you look at this, it is exactly the opposite of this, the, 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 the Hong Seng Chai Le Fat school rule. Exactly the opposite. Here is saying you got a teacher. You follow the instruction, you train hard. You do this, you train your functional training, your endurance and your breathing and so forth. Over this, you're just talking something, uh, oh yeah, I don't want to know this. I want to spa and have these secret techniques. I'll be able to spa, who beat who. And then here is, so I have this internal jing and so forth. They're completely opposite from what, what the uh, 1850s uh, reality of Chinese Kung Fu is. 
Okay. So at my generations, my seafood will kick me out of school if, if I do those kind of stuff or if I think those kind of stuff. Now, so as in the Hong Seng Chale Fat School Rule, we know all this is really solid stuff. Let me share with you one thing. Okay. So those are the basic, right? Today, if you look at in karate, that's called kihon. Okay, not ki long. Sorry, this is my mistake. Okay, kihon. This is ki hong. This is my base. Uh, this is basic. Uh, the ki hong. Okay, this is my uh, wrong uh, writings, wrong sparing. It's ki hong. You practice karate. You have to just drill on your ki hong. You 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 train it. So it is. Like uh, in the uh, again in the Hong Seng Chai Le Fat Gun, okay, you always have to train hard and on your basic and your endurance and so forth. And uh, all really uh, solid basic down to earth. And uh, Mas Oyama, the founder of Kyokushin, have a saying. One become a beginner after 1,000 days of training. So, so be it from uh, Hong Seng Chai Le Fat or Chi Chi Guang or uh, Shaolin Stock Strike or Wing Chun 1850, that is how it go. Not this unrealistic, unrealistic uh, uh, living in fantasy. Okay? And not this keeping talking about internal, this and that, the jing, the, the whatever, okay? So, so this is what the old generations train and do and learn and teach, and they always have the development and verification. Your teacher is the one which is responsible to, to help one, to coach one. Even like in today's uh, Western boxing, you see that the coach is going to coach one from, from this developing and the verified, you know, can he do this kind of stuff? Okay. So this is the teaching of the Chinese. Now, this is called Chuan Dao Jie Huo, passing the experience and solving the confusions. That is the job of the teacher. Passing the experience and solving the confusion. It's not sitting down there, yam cha, using the chopstick to say, oh, this is the six point half pole, or this is the, the, the this te ten techniques. That's called gong gong fu, talking gong fu. That is not passing the experience and solving the confusion. So solving the confusion and passing the experience is not words, it's, it's here. As in the Hong Seng Chai Le Fat Guns, the, the, the rules, as in the, uh, the karate, you need to drill your key horn and one become a beginner after 1,000 days of those type of hard working training. Okay? So it is never spinning and looping in the mind with all kinds of my lineage, my grandmaster, my secret sets, all talk. That's why you, you, you cannot fight those karate cars. When people train this way, you are sitting in the table, yam cha, and talking nonsense. And you, how can you fight like uh, people in 1850, like the Hong Seng Chai Le Fat Gun or the Wing Chun ancestor? You can Okay. Okay. Also, this is called Jun Si Song Zhong Dao, meaning following the teacher's instruction, place the true accomplishment as the first priority. Your job is like you, you attend a university. You listen to what the, uh, the professor, professor teach, following the instructions. You better pass your examinations. Of course, you need to learn that thing to pass the examination. Not today's like code believing. My teacher. Today's Jun Si Zhong Dao is I respect my teacher. 
I will uh, do everything. Boasting my teacher. Or sometimes I, I, I boost my teacher up. He's a grandmaster. My teacher is a grandmaster. He's the king of, uh, of, of, of this style or this lineage. No, that's not what the ancient Chinese mean. Ancient Chinese mean is following the teacher's instruction. Place the accomplishment as the first priority. Zhong Dao. Put heavy in Dao, meaning that your accomplishments is the first priority. Zun Shi, respect teacher, meaning following his instructions, proper instructions. Again, it back to the Chai Lei Fa school rule, the first thing. You got a proper teacher, you follow the teacher. Don't play smart ASS, okay? So you know that what is the reality in the real Chinese Kung Fu. And then this one called Sui Ji Ying Bian. Art according to the conditions, skill with a life. It's not like you punch me this way, I have to have a pan sao in this 45 degree angles. It must not be 50 degrees, it must not be uh, 55 degrees. Who the hell know when the, when the punch come to you, what degree it is? Can you predict your, your, your opponents, how many degree the, 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 the punch will come or the kicks will come or the attack or the takedown will come? So Sui Ji Ying Bian, Meaning that you have to change according to the condition, act according to the condition. Only that way you have a life skill. So this is the teaching of the, the Chinese. My generations above, up to 1850s, you look at, so that's why I said, it is very important for us to look at the Chai Lei Fats uh, Hong Sing Chai Lei Fat's uh, school rules, it was hanging down there for 100 years. Okay? So nobody can bullshit. That is a real deal Kung Fu. Not today's. Everything is yin and yang and tai ji and internal and chi. Well, you, you look at those people in the history. Have they fought like uh, the, the Chai Lei Fat school? In the history. It's just all talk, okay? So that's why I say it's all this Xuan Tan, empty talk, talking Kung Fu, Gong Kung Fu, or I have this Jing, I have this and that. And then when you go to face this Yao Dong, you all fall flat. So that's why, unless one have the general training like this, Chai Lei Fat, 1850, which is in the same directions of the Shaolin Sa Strike, general solutions, general Chi Ji Guang. Sorry, you will not last a few seconds. That is reality. Okay. So we know from here, this is the proper teaching of the Chinese. The same with the karate, and today, same with all the sport uh, 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 martial arts training. This is the, 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 the reality. Now, the reality is one need to have the body handling or the body strength or the martial arts specific functional training or the shadow boxing or the kihon. Really, really solid before one can go to sparring or test out or case study which is required act according to life con conditions or situations, okay? Without this body handling or strength, body strength, how can you go spa? That's why again, go back to 1850, black and white, Major, major of this is what? Of this uh, Hong Sing Chai Lei Fat teaching is what? 
is this. You need to have very good basic. Even if you look at today like Kyokshin, look at how people are doing their Kihon and their shadow boxing and all, all kinds of practice. How can one get into the sparring or helping out the, the, the skill and sparring without all those kinds? Just look at the uh, Western boxing training too. Look at Mike Tyson, how much uh, 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 basic or uh, boxing specific functional training and, and shadow boxing uh, Mike Tyson do. Okay. So you want to talk sparring? How can you even know about what is sparring without all this uh, uh, body handling? And then you want to talk about real fighting? There's on top of the sparring test out and case study, which is have need to require to act according to the life conditions. And the body handling, the strength, the momentum or recycling momentum is like what? Like this, human is not a machine controlled by program. Human is based on awareness, not muscle memory. One need to drill it to the level of a car racer. That the car laser at a high speed, it be able to respond, not react, respond accordingly. Until then, your mind don't know what it is. So you want to talk about sparring? Better to get this thing proper. And it's not what I'm saying, right? I just share, share with you. Hong Xing Chai Le for 1850, Shaolin Short Strike, General Chi Chi Guang, all in the same path. You look at the Kyok Shin training, it's the same path. Western boxing, the same path. Okay? Nobody's sitting down there and talking uh, 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 Chi on this and that and Gong Gong Fu like that. I, I just share with you. So that is how you get to fighting. And can Chi Sao replace all this thing? What does Chi Sao even contribute to the body strength handling? Just look around. Chi Sao can never replace sparring. It is a very limited training a narrow training, okay? That's the reality technically, when you want to face the reality of martial arts. Often, when I'm talking about this, like just a few days ago, I'm talking this. And one guy pops up asking me on, oh, how can we apply this short strike like a, 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 a Daniel's a, a demo in sparring? So I asked that guy, do you know how to squat? Do you know how to squat? So don't ask me about sparring when you don't even know how to squat. Then uh, Daniel said in his video really clearly, you need to learn the S21, how to squat. How many, how many learn that? So when I asked them, do you know what is functional training? They, they will tell me like, I have 25 years of experience on this martial art, that martial art. Who cares? If you don't know how to squat, don't tell me about sparring. Okay? That's the bottom line. So, so this is, you like it or not, it is this, the, the, the bottom line of fighting is this, of martial art is this. Wing Chun or Chi Ji Guang or Shaolin Short Strike or Chai Le Fat or, or Kyok Shin or Western Boxing or Thai Boxing, all those type of training. So now you ask the questions. I always, I always scream at people and say, you have no heart. If you want to learn, you better have heart. Why? If you're pursuing fantasy, mission impossible, living in your daydream, that means no heart. 
So you want to talk about like a, tech, uh, a demo, you want to see demo techniques. What is that? Like in the movie or in the real life? So where, where is your demo and techniques located here? People can do a demo, but because they have a background or they have a solid uh, a body strength handling and their functional training, they know what it is. If one have no idea on this and talking about demo techniques, I have this, I have this secret technique. Uh, what, where are you living? Are you living in a fantasy world or where? Like a movie? So in... in, in in, in, uh, in this movie, whoever, uh, uh, whoever uh, choreography, this thing, don't even know that you can get KO by a body shot in a real life, in seconds, okay? Just look at this, how fast it get KO. Just one shot in 1975. So if one do not understand on this, keeping talking about this uh, demo techniques, you're just watching too much movie. And then uh, the, somebody will say, well, please explain me on sparring. What do I explain? One need to get the body strength and the basic functional training done. Only after that, one spa and then only after one have the experience one be able to understand what is going on if one don't even know how to squat doing a basic squat how the world is uh if you if you're asking somebody to 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 explain uh uh how am i going to use this short strike way to to uh to, to, to spa. It's like asking uh, Mike Tyson, oh, how can I do this peekaboo? And while one don't even know how to squat. Can, can Mike Tyson explain to you on uh, the, 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 the using of the peekaboo in the, in the sparring? Will you know what it is? So there's, there's the problem. And also, you talk about mind power, fudging, chi power. Well, please tell me what does it, where does it contribute to this reality of fighting, reality of martial arts? Please tell me where is it? So that's why, again, why is things screw up? completely wiped out in 100 years oh, because you don't have uh, education and know the reality and somebody really based on whatever reason do not get even the very basic or, 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 or present the even very basic educations and let everybody to, to design or to, to fantasy okay and also like this. Well, if you don't understand, do not speculate. Like if one don't even know how to squat, how can you speculate on, on sparring? Not to mention on fighting. And also you look at the demonstration, you get high, you know, you probably uh, get uh, Daniel to put some, some, uh, some uh, Wing Chun movie music. And then you, you, you look at he, uh, Daniel, uh, 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 demo and then uh, listen to the music and then get high, okay? Like you'll be able to do all the thing. How is that be able to do anything, learning anything at all? So the Chinese saying that when you, when you study, you study in full and you have to have a, a professional responsibility. So it's said in Cantonese, Yao Tao Yao Mei, Yao Gao Doi. In the ancient, when we learn from Sifu, it's always like that. 
Before Sifu passed away, if he's sick, he always said, you have to teach Yao Tao Yao Mei. You have to have a responsibility for your ancestor and your student. That is the bottom line. That is Chinese culture. If you say, I want, uh, like for example here, shouldn't we use Chinese martial arts to change foreign bias against us? Well, then present the truth as what I just show it to you. Don't present ourselves as the, oh, I'm a Chinese martial art. I have the secret chi. And all, everything, uh, my, my teacher is this and that. Th those are not Chinese culture. Those are just called superiority complex. The Chinese is not like that. Like, you look at the Chai Le Fat, uh, the, 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 uh, the school rule. Is this down to earth? Okay? That is the real Chinese martial art culture, teaching. And then there are three type of uh, three level: the sick, in Cantonese, understanding and experience. What is you are learning? Proficient, the Jing, and then Tong, insightful, or mastery. So everybody today want to be seafood. Which which level are you in? Which level are you in? We all call ourselves seafood. I'm the seafood, and then if I have a Student, I'll be the, uh, the, the, the Sifu, the Dai Sifu. And then if uh, my student have a student, then I'm the grand student. I'm the Zhong Si. That's called BS. Where are we here? Do we really practice Chinese Kung Fu, Chinese culture, which is honest, down to earth? Do we? So that, that's what it is. And, and, and many want to talk about Zen. Okay, so this is the Zen Patiak Shin. Okay. So here is the record. Shin, when he was young, he got nailed by a, a, an older monk. And the older monk tell him here. Okay. This is a Mang Yongjing. I can teach you, but you must listen. Then you stay. If you are not listen, you leave. You, then you do whatever you, yourself. That is how the Zen teaching is. Okay? Meaning that if you want to be serious, you're serious. You want to so this back down to what? The same thing as in the first thing. Have a teacher. You got a proper teacher and if you really want to learn, you follow the instructions. So in martial in Zen, all the same. If you want to learn, learn it seriously. So this is Zen Patiak Shiyin. This is uh, Miss Amanda Jenning from California. This is a venerable Xianhua who brought a big piece of uh, 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 the Bodhidharma to America, especially specialized in Srangama and all those medi deep Samadhi stuff. Okay? Now, so that, that's the, the real thing. Do you have heart to learn or not? So just to tell you, I block those who have no heart to learn, can learn, but demand to be treated like VIP or expert and always are the false blamer. So I block all those people from my website. It doesn't matter you are grandmaster or whatever. As soon as it's not there to learn, not straightforward, And demanders demand that. I tell us who, who they are. I block them off. Why? Because that's not the way how to learn things. So 
I deal with all this so-called grandmaster to, to, to what, uh, the, the 10, 20 years or whatever, uh, uh, the Kung Fu people or, or martial, arts, martial artists. There's one person before I remember told me this. He can do whatever he wants because he is going to help me to preserve Wing Chun. Okay? I have to rely on him. While I look at that, man, this is like a buy and sell, okay? Like he wants to be the preparatory agent. Guess what? I kick him out. Just to, to, to tell you to drop name here. This is my Si Gong, Shi Yun. My real Si Gong, this uh, Wen Re Shen Hua is my Si Fu, okay? Did they do those kind of stuff? Did they, did they accept those kind of BS? Of course not. You want to learn, you learn it for real. Okay? Be public-minded. And there's also when people, years ago, there's a, another so-called grandmaster taking one of my class. And guess what? I asked him to do homework. He don't want to do homework. He said, well, I know all this already. Why don't you teach me the, the, the core of this thing? I told him, I have not cash your tuition fee. Please take your tuition fee for yourself and don't contact me here on. Are you learning or what are you doing? And then lately, one person asking me about sparring, sparring. I'm keeping talking about functional training and he says, sparring, sparring. I kick him out too. Why I kick him out? Because when I tell him, you want to learn, you need to have heart or else you leave this place and start coming back on blaming me on, oh, you are... Uh, he is uh, blaming me of not treating him uh, uh, properly and so forth, so forth. What, what treating you properly? I just think that if you want to learn, learn properly with heart. If, if you don't know how to squat, know your squat first. Don't ask me all those, uh, those sparring stuff because you are not... Come, come on, you couldn't even squat. Don't tell me how many years experience you have in martial arts. If you cannot squat, you cannot squat. You, you get that squat done first. Okay? So when it's not following instructions, uh, have this uh, uh, thinking high up and take oneself as expert or VIP and... That's why I don't want to deal with this kind of people. So that's why I kick people out left and right. And you know that I have reputation, uh, uh, reputations of not very difficult to get along with. Well, if you say I'm a difficult to get along with, Venerable Xianhua, the first day I asked him to, my, to be his student, he said, okay, come to a lecture hall at three o'clock. I went to the lecture hall. He was lecture lotus on, on something on the uh, uh, related to Lotus Sutta. And because I, I, I can memorize Lotus Sutta, I talk all kinds of stuff. He stand in front of me, say, tell me to shut up. He said, can you really handle that? Can you handle what you're talking about? If not, shut up. I have to repent that you know that you have a full room of monks and nuns and lay people. I have to be. So is that is that that see is he's a really bad to me, not respecting me? No. He break my bad habit. So that's why whatever I'm saying now, if without evidence, without I can do it, I will not tell you. That is from my teacher, Wen Re Xianhua. That's where I learned. Okay. 
And of course, I have many things to learn. I have many teachers. So from my Zen to Kung Fu to Kyokushin teachers, there are no room for those troublemakers. You always blame somebody. You always want to be number one. You always want to do whatever without even have a public mind that to consider on what is going on. Okay? So that's how, how, how Chinese Kung Fu from Zen to... This is the reality of learning. So one needs to learn properly. Again, it goes back to the truth of uh, 160 years from the Hong Seng Charlie Kwat Tun. So if one go visit Patsan, when one look at, saw that plaque there, this thing here, one need to bow deeply because that is what the truth of the teaching of Chinese martial arts. Down to the earth. Okay? So, so as uh, here, he say that uh, number three, one must not kick the first kick. That's why I put in my book, my, my teacher's teaching, Ven Shenhua teaching. As soon as you throw the first kick, <coughs> the first fist, the, the, the first foot, you are no longer my di disciple on spot. So be it in Zen and Choi Le Fat, you know Choi Le Fat is Shaolin based on Mang. That's the teaching. The same thing, there's one line from Chi Chi Kuang, the body conditioning, the body strength, the, 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 the attitude, how to be a martial, martial artist from the Buddhist side, all is there. Okay? But if you're keeping doing this movie like this, doing movie like this and keeping uh, 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 doing uh, my Wing Chun, your Wing Chun, how is that Chinese at all? So that, that's what I like to share with you. And that's why I wrote all these books. From Chi Chi Kuang to Shaolin Short Strike to, to Wing Chun 1850, all those things in today's language. To spot science, to using to, to scientific measurement. Because even to me, it is this. Yao Tao Yao Mei Yao Gao Doi. What you say have to say in full, and you have to be responsible for the ancestor and 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 the, the young generations. Okay. So this is what I'm sharing with you today. Many people might not like it, that's fine. I don't care. What I care is those if they really want to learn. This is how the ancient Chinese learn, and it's tractable, traceable, and it's even uh, be able to verify today with the modern sport science and modern martial arts training. Not those fantasy stuff, not those delusions, okay? And this is Chinese culture. This is the traditional Chinese martial art culture. So I make this video already. Later on, if somebody tried to screw up the 1850s Wing Chun, saying that this Wing Chun, my Wing Chun, my 1850 Wing Chun, your 1850 Wing Chun, everyone should be able to tell them, shut up. Go study the proper thing before you talk. So today I share with you on this Chai Le Fat really extremely respectable piece of information or data or evidence here. We need to really learn something 
from what is the real uh, Chinese Kung Fu. Based on evidence, it's not like, oh, if I tell you this, I am the fifth generation from Yikam 1850. Come learn from me. Come learn from me. I know it all. I have the secret. I have this and that. You walk away. You call me bullshit. Okay. The real deal is like this. Not me saying, telling you, I'm the fifth generation from the Yikam from Red Boat, authentic, I can trace to you. And then if you study with me, you are the six generations. Forget about it, okay? Anybody say that, walk away from that. And also, as I always tell, my kid, none of them know Wing Chun. So if, my, if after I die, my kid saying, oh, he's the grandmaster, Tell him that his father tell everybody to call him bullshit. Okay? That's how strict it is, has to be. Because it has to be public minded. It has to be Yao Tao Yao Mei, Yao Gao Doi. 